Oh, it smells very strongly of sour cream and onion. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we're going to be asking what's better, ramen flavoured Pringles or Pringles flavoured ramen? <laughs> Wow! <laughs> While searching for some of the weirdest flavours of crisps in the world, the general conclusion on the internet was they're all in Japan. Konnichiwa. So, <laughs> we're going to start with the big one. Let's start with the big one. Ramen. Roll out flavors. the number one show tune of this episode <laughs> in the opening act. Ramen flavoured Pringles and Pringles flavoured ramen. It's a great setup. I have no idea what to expect. Yellow one is miso ramen. I like miso. And this is chicken soy sauce. Riskier. Risky so, business. Pop away, Ollie. All right. Oh, wow. Japanese Pringles don't <laughs> pop. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That really difficult. First off, okay. there is an initial impression. What's the impression? They're tiny. I think we have a pack of normal Pringles out there. Look at that difference. That's a big differential. The normal Pringle, yeah. there is a U shape to it, but there's also a kind oh. of uptick. They've got rid Whoa. of the uptick. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even realize that. Is, is it even a Pringle? Now we've been talking about Pringles for so I really want to eat this Pringle. Whoa. Holy moly. Oh my, that's like some Willy Wonka flipping magic. I mean, what on earth? There's definitely miso in there. I think I can taste the noodles. What the heck? That is genuinely the full taste of Because it's so small and it's so digestible, it feels like I've just plugged a USB into my brain and it's yeah. giving me the sensation <laughs> of having miso soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. That I could weird. burp in someone's face now and they would think, you've just eaten miso soup. That is true. That That's one of the benefits of this. <laughs> oh, it's blowing my that, mind. That genuinely is incredible. That's such a convincing flavour. Time to try the chicken soy sauce ramen. Oh. Oh. Chicken soy. Okay, it leads with the soy. Yeah, heavy on the soy. Middle taste of a bit of chicken. Mm -hmm. That is similarly impressive in terms mm. of accuracy. Taste. Not as good. I don't want a chicken ramen crisp. Mm, no. Whereas no. I do want a miso ramen crisp. That's true. It doesn't taste good. It tastes that's accurate, that's but true. not good. <laughs> okay. You know? That's true. I would say that is as convincing a flavor crisp as I've ever tasted. This one in particular. That tastes more like a meal in a crisp than anything I've ever had. Yeah, I agree. All right, are you ready for the next step? Ollie? Let's do it. Pringles flavored. Yeah. Oh, there's very specific instructions. It feels worrying. Be Pringles and ramen. Weren't, Pringles and ramen. They, they weren't made. They were to fine. Be together. They were fine on their own. You know, it's uh. one of those holiday romances <laughs> yeah. where they're like, "Look, you're great. I'm yeah. great. And this could be something." Happens. And all of their friends are like, "Oh my gosh. Oh, what are you thinking?" <laughs> yeah. Wow. The thing is, there isn't a Pringles flavor. Wow. Pringles are then flavored. That's so true. This is a ramyun flavoured after a flavoured crisp. I would argue that this is the sort of the representative flavour of all Pringles. Sour cream and onion. Wow. Wow, it tastes a lot more bland than the Japanese one. Well. And, and I remember them being very flavourful, but it's it's weak. It's so weak compared to those. Okay. I, peel it, peel it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's got that's drainage. Impressed. Ramen drainage. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Is this the essence of Pringle? Maybe is this, this is the, the sour cream and onion. Ooh. Oh. oh, it smells very strongly of sour cream and onion. We should compare. Very strongly. Wow, that's a lot of sour cream and onion <laughs> dust. I don't know if it's supposed to be eaten oh. raw or only. That is the, the flavor. The smell. That is essence of Pringles. That is essence of Pringle. Wait, we've got something else here. It's not just Pringle essence we're having on the noodle. Bits of Pringle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pringle oil. And then now I presume you mix. This does not seem right. Have we done this right? I'm pretty sure we have, but it's like, how is that the flavoring for noodles? Can you yeah. smell that? Woo! Wow! Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is shocking. You know, I was joking talking about flavoring something to taste like a flavoring. It's so detached from reality. Oh, I took an enormous mouthful of that. It's considerably worse than any English ramyun I've had. No. It is. No. I would have a pot noodle over that. Uh. 
It's a lot stronger taste. It's like the feeling oh. of vomiting in reverse. <laughs> Why do that to the noodles, Mr. Pringle? Okay, I'm gonna take that out of your sight. Yeah, yeah, get yeah. out of my sight. You should be ashamed of yourself. You need a strong, decisive flavor to just wash all of those nasty flavors out of your mouth. Hit me. You've tried wasabi crisps before, but what about wasabi? You know I love combining words. <laughs> This channel is called Jolly, Josh and Ollie. What's I love that there's beef? like 1% of our audience now going like, yeah. <laughs> I never realized that before. Yeah, yeah. Josh, it's Ollie, true. It's true. Jolly. Wow. Is that made with real wasabi? Wow, it hit. Oh, there's a second. It hits in stages. But that's what you want from wasabi, okay. right? When I first had sushi, I was like, soy sauce. I love putting a bit of soy sauce on there. Yeah. Wasabi, it's like green ketchup. Put it all over, mix it all up. So I just put a good teaspoon of wasabi on top ah. of my thing. Couldn't taste anything. <laughs> 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 but this is the same. They put too much wasabi and there's no beef in there. So what I'm hearing is not quite strong enough for That's you. That's good. It needs I like these. It needs to be improved upon. Well, fear not, because this is Wasabi Max. See, I think they're just going to add more wasabi. There's <laughs> <laughs> only one way to find out, are they? It smells beefy. They <laughs> max the beef flavor. That's what you wanted, Ollie. You wanted more levels of beef flavour. Well, this is level 99. <laughs> <laughs> this is like my first meal in Japan. <laughs> I made a hoop of steak. I made a hoop of steak. <laughs> I can feel it in my brain. Oh, my nose is suddenly really clear. I kind of like it though. Wow. I feel like I'm having a reaction to that. That is unbelievably strong. <laughs> that tastes like literally eating crisp shaped slices of, was of real wasabi root. It's hits you right in the back of the throat. I think that is actually a bit too much for me. That's, that feels dangerous. Oh, it hit me in the throat. It properly hit me in the throat. I am, I'm kind of floating. It's giving me an adrenaline kick. It's like very something very, very spicy, I guess, in that sense. Well, Should we go with something a bit more mild? Some pickled plum crisps. Okay. <laughs> we said we were no longer going to talk about pickled plum. <laughs> <laughs> there is a kind of pink dusting. Dust. It's almost like it's wearing blusher. Ooh, that's a lot. It's halfway between salt vinegar crisp and a Jolly Rancher. Sour, but tangy then... vinegar with a little bit of fruit. That is weird. I like this. I think you can finish. It's just a bit too weird. A bit too weird for me. Sabachi. These are horse mackerel crisps. Horse. Mackerel. <laughs> that sounds like a Shakespearean insult. Yeah. How dare you, you horse mackerel! This is the first crisp, but I, I'm kind of. Not oh sure my god! Should not have done that. <laughs> oh, this cannot be good for my oh. health. <laughs> that just smells like a seafood market. Oh wow! Okay. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what's the aftertaste? Oh! You think you're having a prawn cracker, and oh, then you just yeah. get slapped with a horse mackerel <laughs> yeah. around the face. Yeah, big and time. It's like, nay! Yeah, nay! You're an idiot! The beginning is all, is all prawn cracker, <laughs> and the ending is all fish. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan of those. A final pack of crisps are just called strong. Apparently the flavoring is Oni Consom, and it does say demon's recipe. That is not something you should advertise. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready for this? Yeah. It smells, does it smell strong? It smells smoky. Okay. And then I guess hell does smell smoky, okay. right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> not taste strong at all. What's the demon part? I guess he was just a good cook. I'm not joking. This is like genuinely probably the best one we've had. <laughs> just tastes really yummy. It's like barbecue sauce. Kind of barbecue-y. It's like it kind of got a flame char grilled quality to it. I guess we're ending on a positive note. Yeah, I, I was not expecting that. Some of the most interesting, but also some of the worst things we've ever eaten. Highs and lows. Highs and lows. I just feel bad that we tried yeah. something genuinely horrific on one of your episodes. Yeah, I know. Don't feel bad. Oh, no, I feel glad. Okay. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad. In the meantime, see you Charlie soon. Bye. See you later. Hi, I'm Riley. And I'm Alice. And our reason to be jolly is... Good food, beautiful weather, and family. Yay!